So we fit a logistic regression model to the coronary heart disease data, and we ended up with the model here, expressed on the scale of probability of coronary heart disease. This is the logistic function, or the log of the odds of coronary heart disease as a linear function of the axis. So the intercept was negative 5.31, the coefficient for age was 0 0.111. In this video, I'm gonna talk about um, estimating the probability of the outcome using the logistic function. Then in a separate video, we'll talk about just the general interpretation of these coefficients. And, and then in another um, video, we'll talk about getting odds ratios and why when we exponentiate these coefficients, they're gonna give us odds ratios. So I'll show you uh, a little bit of the calculations to convince you of that. So first what I wanna do is just look at getting the estimated um, probability of coronary heart disease. And let's just say for someone whose age is 32. And I guess before I do that, I wanna make a quick reminder that we haven't really specified a goal for our model, right? We've previously talked about model building and variable selection. So I'm not necessarily saying that this model is good or correct. Right now, I just wanna show you how we can sub into this model to get predicted probabilities. <clears throat> right. If we wanna try and predict what's the probability of someone having coronary heart disease, we probably need to use more variables than just their age. And we talked about criteria for selecting variables for predictive models is different than if we were, say, trying to estimate what effect does uh, certain lifestyle habits have on your risk of coronary heart disease. Right, so right now I'm just purely looking at the exercise of how can we use this model to get a predicted probability. We're not saying that this model is correct or is good. Just looking at how can we do this. So if we want to estimate the probability for age 32, it's e to the negative 5.31 plus 0.111 times the age of 32 over 1 plus e to the negative 5.31 plus 0.111 times 32. And if it works that out, it's going to come out to 0.147 or 14.7%. Um, so Okay, we didn't have much info on this sample and where the data came from and who this um, sample generalizes to, but for this sample, our estimate is that someone who's 32 years old has a 14.7% chance of having uh, evidence of coronary heart disease. Now, I believe this sample was some um, select population that, that would be at higher risk. The risk is probably not this high for general population. A few things I want to point you to. In some of the videos where we show working with R, I'm showing you how to get this predicted probability both by just using R as a calculator and doing the same thing here, or by using the predict command in R to say, for this model, predict the, um, give me the predicted probability for age 32. So I show you how you can get the same calculation done um, using R rather than doing it by hand. Stick around guys, there's more to see and please stay safe.